Welcome to Art Adventure Studio. We are here doing art projects and being totally safe. <laughs> this is Ash, Gia, Grace, and Miss Linda. And I want to tell you about our first project we are going to do. Uh, many of you have read Island of the Blue Dolphins. It's a collage piece. So, you ready to paint? Let's go. Hello. Many of you have read the book Island of the Blue Dolphins. It's based on a true story about a girl who was abandoned at an island off of the California coast. My student Gia is going to be demonstrating and these are items that you probably have at home that you have access to. She's using, I think it's a 12 by 16, but you can use 8 by 10, 9 by 12 sheet of white paper. It's a little heavier than uh, copy paper. And we just um, grabbed some leaves and things from outside. And um, what she's gonna do is a rubbing for the background. So the background is in the blues and oranges and grays. Um, and we are gonna do um, a rubbing with a colored pencil without the lead. It's a Crayola product, but you can also use colored pencils. So go ahead and just lay those underneath and start. Uh, and the artist, um, her name was Evangeline Ness. And I read some history about her. She did a lot of collages, did a lot of children's books, and she actually taught children's art classes too. Um, at one time she was married to Elliot Ness, who was um, one of the untouchables that um, was responsible for you know, the Prohibition era and the Mafia, and she kept her last name. She did remarry. And she liked to do a lot of collage. So we are gonna be using things you have at home. We're gonna have a black piece of paper that will tear up to do her hair. We'll demonstrate how to do the face and um, use colored pencil to color in the face. And so the supplies you will need is a white paper, colored pencil or crayon, some leaves from your yard to do the rubbings, scissors, and glue. This is also a project you can do with your siblings or your mom and dad. It's a fun project for all. It's a really good book. Um, the little history I know about it is um, my husband who was in the Navy, he at one time went to San Nicolas Island. It's a, it's, the government owns the island. No one's allowed on it. Um, but when he was in the Navy, they were required to go there. And Um, it's called San Nicolas Island. The other part of the military who was on base protecting it didn't know that my husband's part of the military was there and they were stopped at gunpoint and held for an hour to find out who they were, why they were there on the island. The west shore is very rocky and dangerous. Um, him and his buddy were on the rocks and one of them almost slipped and fell into the ocean and the, my husband grabbed the other and uh, saved him pretty much. But there was a lot of wildlife. I don't know that they saw any wolves, but, and I don't know how the wolves got on the island. Anyway, so Gia's almost com completely done with the background. And you can add whatever colors you want for the background because the contrast of her hair against the background will show up really nicely. 
<laughs> I'm Grace. <laughs> and I will be showing you how to do the face of our main character of the book. Her name is Karana. And I'm just going to start off how I start off all my heads with just one lightly sketched circle. And it might not even show up very well on the camera because it's so light, but I don't want it to show up too much in the final product. And so from that circle, there's the top of it, but that'll be covered by hair eventually. And then I'm going to draw a line going all the way down the middle and another one going kind of near the bottom of the circle. And I'm gonna use that to decide where my chin goes. So from the top, to the middle, and then I make that the middle. That means the chin ends right there. Hopefully that line is visible. So now she's gonna need somewhere for her jaw to go. And this is just sketching still. I'm not putting down any hard lines yet. And so from this halfway point, I'm going to bring it down about a third of the way. So if we split this area into three parts, one of those is going to be another line. And we'll use that later to make the nose. And then from the nose end to the chin, I'm going to split that into three parts again. And that's going to be one, two, three. So that first one is going to be where the mouth meets together. And then that second one is right where like the top of the chin will eventually be. And for the eyes, we don't want them to be too super big, so it's going to go kind of just a little bit out from this center line on either side. And we want that to be an even spacing between the two. And then however big you made that is how big you're going to make the eye over here. And so right now, this is just a lot of lines on a circle, but it will turn into a face. Mm -hmm. So I like to start off my faces with noses, especially when it is something simple like this. It's not a lot of shading. It's just a lot of simple lines. Her nose is very visible and it's going to go kind of like if I had a little dotted line going all the way down from these lines that we made for the eye. little parentheses and a little bump between there and there and just that funky wavy line makes her nose and I'm gonna see how she has something that shows the little bump right above everybody's lips and nose Next, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eyes, because I think those are a very important piece of the face. They show a lot of emotion in this photo, especially. Mm. And her eyes are kind of a lot of funky shapes. She almost has like some straight lines in there. And for the bottom, she doesn't even have a solid line. It's just a lot of these eyelashes. And then I'm gonna sketch another circle right in there. Another circle inside of that. Same thing on the other side, just mirrored. Same little eyelashes down at the bottom. Sketching a circle.
in this main character, Karana, she is part of a tribe that lived on San Nicolas Island. They're based off the, what are they, the, uh, yeah, the Cristiano, because I know here in Carlsbad area we have the Luisanos, and I believe they were the Christianos, people that lived on the islands off the coast of California. And so for the mouth, I just made a line, and it's not a straight line going all the way across. It kind of bends down and then comes back up near the edges. And so on the other side, it bends down and comes right back up. And the top line, I'm not even worrying about connecting all these lines yet. It's just the same thing where you kind of have a little bump in the middle, and then it goes down towards not quite the edge of it, just like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit inside the edge. And I like to make kind of a flat line for the bottom of the mouth. It goes up. And next I think she needs eyebrows. So I'm just starting off knowing where I want the eyebrows to begin, which is kind of just up a little bit, like into the center from where this line is of her mouth. I'm actually gonna bring her jawline in a little bit now that I'm looking at this face. And it's okay if her face doesn't turn out exactly. She is a fictional character. Yes, it is based off real events, but Karana herself was not a real person. So we can look, we can make her look however we want her to look. I'm just gonna start to come back in with some of these darker lines, choosing the lines around the face that I like and making those a little more solid. And I'm also gonna darken that in, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of a shiny spot in her, in her pupil. Mm -hmm. The rest of this, I think, will eventually be covered up by hair, which we're gonna do next with the torn paper. So that's it for the face. But still with the pencil, I think we're also going to be adding in this boat right up there. Which, luckily, G gave us a nice line for that boat on the background. And it's just one line down at the bottom, and I'm making it nice and thick. And like I had a curved line going up from there, and another one going up the side, a little bit less steep of an angle. And then one just connecting the tops of those two. And for the mast, they don't have their sails out, like they're coming ashore. So we're just going to have one tall line, another tall line, a little bit less tall, and then another one, kind of between the two. And we have a couple different lines connecting to the top because it's all wood and all that and there's a lot of ropes connecting them so you can just kind of add in some lines going from the top to the bottom maybe you can add some little people on the boat maybe they're waving we want this to be a little more visible. We want it to match the background. So I'm going to use, you can use colored pencils. We're just using the, it's a colored pencil without the uh, wood around it. And so I'm just going over some of these lines, even darker than a pencil would show up. And it can be a little messy because it is in the background. I'm also going to use the 
same piece to make some of these a little darker. for her eyes, that way it shows up even better. And you can use regular markers, or if you have a Sharpie with you, you can use that too. But it is a permanent marker, so be careful what you get it on, especially at your house. And I'm just going over some of that pencil with it. demonstration right now is Ash, <laughs> who did not introduce herself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, this is Ash. Alright, Ash, just come out when you're ready. We'll be chilling out here. Alright, Ash, we're gonna And I looked it up after not remembering the name of the native peoples of this island before, and they were the Nicolanios, <laughs> not the Christianios. Christianios were a different, a different group of people. But yes, the Nicolanios lived on San Nicolas Island, which now it should be easier for me to remember the name, realizing that they are named after the island. <laughs> <laughs> works best for you. And an important thing to remember is to glue the edges of it so it sticks better.
And then you can use some extra pieces of paper to fill in more of her hair in the back. Um, and then for the bangs, um, you can tear little strands of hair like that, or you can use Sharpie. forgot her iconic little white earrings which go on the side of her face. And so here's the final product. <laughs> it's something you can do at home. It's all pretty simple stuff, just some torn paper and some colored pencils, some things you found around the house. Yeah. I was holding still. I thought it was a still picture. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us and we look forward to having you on the next project. Woo <laughs>